beta and gamma radiation have many different types of uses. But when we are thinking about using a radioisotope, we must consider the following things. One, we have to look at the half-life of that radioisotope. That's the time it takes to decay in half. And the second thing we have to consider is the type of radiation it emits and what it can be stopped by or how far it can travel. We have to know each type of radiation, the nuclide notation for that, the charge of that particular type of radiation and what plate it would be attracted to if it was put in an electric field. However, the main focus of the summary here is essentially what the radiation can be stopped by. Alpha can not travel very far. It's stopped by a few centimetres cubed of air or a sheet of paper. Beta can be stopped by a sheet of aluminium and gamma can only be stopped by lead or concrete. Remember, this is the second point that we have to remember when we're looking at radioisotopes. past paper questions from the National 5 2018 written 12a. Thallium 204 decays by emitting a beta particle and can be used in industry to measure the thickness of paper. Suggest the reason why a radioisotope which emits alpha particles is not suitable for this purpose. Remember we've got two things that we need to consider. That's the half-life or the type of radiation it emits and what it can be stopped by. What we can see is in this question there is no mention of half-life so we can't be looking at that first property. However, it does mention a sheet of paper and we know that alpha particles can be stopped by a sheet of paper so it would not be able to pass through to the detector. This past paper question is from the National 5 2016 Multiple Choice 17. Some smoke detectors make use of radiation which is very easily stopped by tiny smoke particles moving between the radioactive source and the detector. The most suitable type of radioisotope for a smoke detector would be. So remember when we are looking at uses of radioisotopes the first thing that we have to look at is the half-life and that's the time it takes to decay in half. We want the smoke detector to last a long time so we would want it to have a long half-life. We then have to look at the type of radiation it emits and what it can be stopped by or how far it can travel. In this question, it tells us that it can be stopped by tiny smoke particles and we know alpha can be stopped by a few centimetres of air or smoke to set the alarm off. So the most suitable type of radioisotope for a smoke detector would be an alpha emitter with a long half-life, multiple choice answer A.